So if you're like me and street drive your car and run pumpy 85, you know that it definitely fluctuates from one station to another. So this is a quick walkthrough on how to see your ethanol content, both with the laptop, your Holly three and a half inch screen and seven inch dash. All right, so first thing you're gonna need to do is go to your advanced tables. This is under the assumption that you already have flex fuel hooked up and working. So me on my 1D table, you can see that table one here is my flex fuel multiplier, which I do know is hooked up and operates correctly. Um, so hopefully you have that done already. I already have a table in two and a table three. So for me, I'm gonna go to table four here. So for this, this is strictly a display. So you're not gonna really fill in a whole lot. Um, so obviously you're gonna go enable table. Um, I'm gonna leave this as nitrous offset. Obviously I do not have nitrous on this car. But for the sake of this, this will work just fine. So I'm going to label this flex fuel percent uh, just for the table here. So my X axis is going to be your flex fuel input. So from the drop down, you're going to find that and select it, which should be already in there. So here's flex fuel input. So in the table below, they should match your X and Y axis. So both starting at zero, going to 100. This is obviously gonna be your flex fuel percent versus uh, your actual readout there. Uh, for your activation, none of this needs to actually be filled in because strictly this is gonna be read based on your flex fuel input from the sensor. So once this is all programmed in here, uh, you should be able to now read it both in the Holly three and a half inch dash and the seven inch, which I'll walk through next. Before we get too far though, one thing that we can do is we'll actually connect the software to uh, the laptop. You can see obviously that the advanced table needs to be sent. So we will send that to the ECU here. Once it syncs, um, we will key off and key on as per the Holly software there. And you can see it's actually starting to read here on this table on the laptop. So under the assumption that this is working correctly, basically what the flex fuel input on the laptop is, is what's gonna to correspond to the screens. So I'm gonna start the car here right now, it's at zero because the fuel pump's not rolling, but you'll see it in a second when I start it. So right now I'm using pump E85, uh, tests about 75% roughly. Uh, so obviously this is reading what we need. Uh, so let's put the, uh, the displays on the dash so that way you guys understand how to have it all set up. All right, so we're gonna go through the three and a half inch dash first since that seems to be obviously more common with the Terminator setup. Um, so we're gonna go to monitor, multi-gauge. You have three different dashes that you can use. I'm just gonna pick dash two because it's not one that I frequently use. So we're gonna go dash setup, click dash number two, hit okay. We're gonna do channel uh, engages, change that. I'm just gonna choose the top left. So if you remember when we were doing our stuff before, uh, we were using the 1D advanced table and that was number four. Uh, so when you scroll down, you're gonna see at the very bottom here, AT1D number four. That is advanced table 1D number four hit OK. We're going to do a digital small, hit OK. We're going to save all that. And we should be good to go. So now when we go to dash number two, on the top left, you see AT1D number four. So that's our, uh, our ethanol percentage output. So I'm going to start the car here once again. If you remember on the laptop, we were reading about 73, 74%. Uh, so this should be right about there. So right on the money. Go back to the laptop. It's also reading correct. All right, so I haven't forgotten about you seven inch dash guys. Uh, we'll do this one real quick here too. 
So if you go to menu, you're going to go to customize, hit OK. We're just going to select, say over here on the screen, add, gauge. So select value to monitor. Again, if you remember, this is going to be advanced table 1D number 4. So uh, we're going to see that on the top here. Hit OK. The nice thing with the 7-inch uh, dash is you're able to rename things. So we're going to go and customize that gauge. So now that it's on the screen, instead of having it called AT1D number 4, I'm actually going to clear that. And I'm going to say E85 and then we're going to do the percent. So then you hit OK. So the text is going to be E85% visible font size 15. So we got a range um, 0. We're going to switch that to 100 because obviously we can't go above 100% ethanol. Hit OK. And then basically you could customize as you see fit. AT1D number 4 is our input. Hit OK. That should be good there. So we're going to hit save. Now let's start the car and we can check all three spots and see if they match. As you can see on the dash, we're reading about 75 or three and a half inch. It's got obviously two decimal points, so 74 and some change. And then finally, we got our laptop also reading correctly. So this is three different ways that you can actually monitor your ethanol percentage. Um, hopefully this helps you guys out. If you have any questions, make sure to ask. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. Thanks.